do you see, Sunim? Aid me, be my eyes. Skurin skáta, þingar við óðin á vegna sist. Gamla nær tímd, að finns húðar í tökum. Survey the area, Sudan. Go, my eyes. Sam's trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. I need your eyes, my friend. Toil and drudgery is our lot.
My father was a thrall, as is my wife, as will our children be. Small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunger want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence. But you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. Oil and drudgery is our lot.
Sunan, guide me. Here's the stone circle, but no way into the sanctum. Another illusion. Luna, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future, heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep. Sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I... I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Yotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. 
No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. Yeah. Wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yurtnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey. Deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna. Ah! Your words are well chosen. I offer a toast to great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin. Champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor. 
Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face a well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Who is in the mood for a brawl? Perhaps a babe would be more suited to your strength. I am it harder than you. Can you not beat an old woman? Is she too strong for you? Bones. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. The mead is half gone. An egg is colder and can't be drained. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? What's the I word? should try the archery contest. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. They take a drink and let fly! Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's this second? Forest. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Let us hope you hold Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bowl. Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. Keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. Is that Loki? Loki? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I... I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? 
Surely he would not dare. Yeah. Gunlotha looks glum. And she has not touched... You are not drinking, Gunlotha. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. A river has a mouth and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a hammer. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women. Servants, too. Bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Old age is the answer. Old age? I think age is slowing your brain. The answer is swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? That was disappointing. Perhaps you'd better find someone more suited to your intelligence. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunga will open his vault. Utgarda, ancient keep of the Yotna. Sutungar holds sway within those walls. 